Hello, welcome to Spread Book Joy. Today I'm going to be reviewing The Other Ones by Fran Hart. If you're new to the channel, I'm Jack, and if you're not new, welcome back to Spread Book Joy. And I originally published this review on my blog and on Instagram, and I was sent this lovely book from uh, Chicken House Books for review, for my impartial review. I do love Chicken House Books. I am a big fan of that publisher and I've got a video explaining all about them. They're one of the best indie publishers in the UK and I'll put my uh, link in the description box below. So what is The Other Ones about? Well, it's a YA sort of queer mystery romance and lots of really great themes in it. There's found family, there's othering and how that feels in society, young romance blossoming and found friendships and all sorts of things. Really great stuff in this book. So the main character in the story is Sal, and Sal lives in what's supposed to be one of the most haunted houses in the UK in a very small village. And I think the characters are supposed to be about 17 or 18 years old. They're in sixth form over here in the secondary school, high school, sort of 17, 18 years old. And Sal and his sister Asher live with their artist mother because their father was killed in a car accident a number of years ago. And their mother's become more and more reclusive and they sort of seem to be taking care of themselves quite a lot. Uh, Sal's older sister Asher has resumed like the role of carer. Um, she's slightly older than Sal, she should be at university but she turned down a place to stay there and work in the local shop. She's very very intelligent. So he doesn't really enjoy the fact that everyone at school continuously teases him about living in this really really haunted house. He's got one really close friend at school called Dirk. Dirk wants to be popular with the popular kids, Sal doesn't really care but they've been friends for a long time and they rub along really well together. A new boy called Pax joins the school and Pax is sweet and sensitive and he is um, spiritual and he's into the supernatural and he does he's very very quirky and he knits his own clothes and things like that and he moves into a house not far away from Sal's and hearing about this most haunted house he goes over and introduces himself as new to the neighborhood and he's very interested in the very haunted house and he says oh I can help you uh, cleanse the house and try and rid the house of what might be bad spirits. Sal isn't really keen on Pax doing any of this like he's fed up of being called Ghost Boy, the house has been featured in a national newspaper story of 10 most haunted houses recently and everyone's teasing him about it so he just doesn't want any attention drawn to it but eventually he lets Sal, uh, Sal lets Pax cleanse the house and after they hang out a few times this kind of blossoming romance starts to develop and then Sal and Dirk and Pax are hanging around together and then they're soon joined by another um, friend called Elsie and Elsie's story is that she was part of a popular gang and they've been shunning her for some reason and yeah so she's basically a loner as well. The theme of feeling othered is throughout this book though it's called the other ones thinking in reference to the haunted house but also in reference to the whole gang of um, friends themselves. Sal and Asha are half Egyptian which is unusual in that part of the UK they live in a very rural uh, community in the UK and they're constantly feeling othered for their background and the way they look so yeah that's explored quite a bit through here and then of course Sal and Pax develop this romantic relationship. So Sal up until this point has figured that he was straight, he's been out and snobbed girls at parties and all sorts of things like that but he feels this real attraction to Pax and when they finally kiss or make out and he realises this is different, oh perhaps yeah that's why I've not really enjoyed kissing girls so perhaps that's why I've not enjoyed it, I've enjoyed kissing Pax, maybe I'm gay and what was refreshing to me is that there wasn't a lot of grappling with his feelings or worrying about it that went on in Sal's mind. Sal realised his feelings about Pax and while figuring out your sexuality is a huge and confusing part and challenging time for young people in general, it's really refreshing to read about a young person who was so at ease with who they were and who they wanted to be with that he kind of just accepts it and he's like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's right. So it was, it was really refreshing to read that. So the way the story is structured is that throughout the book there are excerpts from someone's diary or from something telling us what it's like to live in a really haunted house. I couldn't figure out which character was in the beginning and you don't figure out until the end where these excerpts have come from but they were really engaging and they set up the story really well. I found the whole setting description and 
um, the whole idea of this haunted house and the mystery behind it tying in with these characters own issues and real life problems I thought it was a really nice formula but what I most loved about this book and I really really enjoyed was the character the romance was really really sweet and absolutely like reminds you of those first crushes and first proper relationships that you have in your in your sort of late teens and it was just beautifully done but I also think I missed the characters when I finished reading the book because they were a lovely gang to hang around with. So those are my thoughts on The Other Ones by Fran Hart. Have you read it? Would you think about reading it? Um, let me know in the comments below and hopefully I'll see you again here soon. Bye!